So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use some of these adjustments. Um, so you can do auto adjust all this stuff. That's fine. I do it as an artist all the time. But let's talk about just these adjustments in here. So brightness and contrast. Um, you can really lighten up a picture or make it a little bit darker in here. That's so the brightness is how bright something looks. Obviously, contrast has to do with how far are the darks from the light. So notice if I bring this out, it turns more gray. And if I bring this up, and you note it, the whites get whiter and the darkers get darker. That's what contrast does. Contrast pushes the whites and darks, the highlights and lowlights, or the lights and darks farther away from each other. Or when you, if you bring it down, that brings them closer together. So you move towards more grays when you get left and more blacks and whites when you'd go right. So when it cancel, you would hit apply if you wanted to use it. Um, temperature and tint. So sometimes you take a photo, like a photograph inside, and for some reason it's really yellow and it's because of the lighting. So what you can do is use the temperature tool to make it a little bit bluer, see how it gets bluer as I go left. Or sometimes you're outside and because of the lighting, it's a little too blue. So then you make it look warmer or more yellow. Um, the tint is green and green and magenta. Um, and the tint is often used because of the way that shadows fall on things. And so the, sometimes the shadows are too magenta, so you make things more um, green, or sometimes they're more green, so you make them more magenta. Um, there's also hue and saturation. So um, hue means that, like sometimes you want a color to be a, like be a little bit more on the like magenta side of things, or you want them to be a little bit more on the red side of things. Um, it's a kind of an interesting thing to do if you're like going to do a photo collage and you want something to stand out. You can like really make it look like a different color than it actually is. Um, saturation, if I go all the way, it makes it black and white. If I go all the way right, it makes it more and more saturated. It has more color to it. Lightness and darkness is um, a better way, in my opinion, than using the brightness tool to decide how dark you want your picture to be. If you're making it less light, the darkers get darker, whereas the whites kind of stay where they are. So notice how his hat is getting a little bit darker, but not as dark, but the blacks are getting way black. And if I go this side, notice how that hat blows out really fast, but like his beard is kind of that same black. So it's a, it's a really useful way to um, decide how light and dark you want a picture to be. And then we have um, vibrance, which is kind of a made up thing. Like in traditional photography, you can't choose the vibrance, but in um, digital photography, they kind of made up this thing called vibrance. And if you look, what it's kind of doing is messing with both the lightness and darkness as well as um, the contrast. So it's kind of messing with like saturation, lightness, contrast to just kind of make things pop. So I don't use this a ton, but if I feel like a picture is kind of flat, I'll make it a little bit more vibrant. Um, color balance, I use this one a ton. It is impossible for you to ever take a picture that looks exactly what you want it to look like. So you um, want to come in here sometimes and you want to add things. So personally, like I feel like this picture in the shadows is really um, kind of red and I don't like it. So I'm gonna take less red out and make it a little bit more blue. And as I do that, I'm also noticing that I don't like how blue it is. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more yellow. Sorry, yellow is the other way. Um, so the opposite of red is blue. The opposite of green is magenta and the opposite of blue is yellow. So I'm gonna make that back with the shadows a little bit more yellow. And then the midtones, I feel like his face is too yellow, so I'm gonna make it just a little bit more blue. Let's go look and make it a little more natural, a little more red as well, just a tiny bit, to make it look a little more natural. See how it looked before and what it looks like now? For me, this is more what I want a photo to look like. There's not a ton of difference, but there's enough that I'm noticing it, and it's making me want to, um, be, ha be happier with it. The, the highlights, which is like the hat here or his eyes, look really good. I wouldn't do anything to change those. Those look really, really good. So that's I use that a ton. Um, and then 
Uh, highlights and shadows is really useful because sometimes you would want the highlights to be darker, but you don't want the shadows to be darker. So you can kind of mess around with that to make it, again, look the way you want it to look. Um, exposure, I don't do a ton with. It just, it pretends like you're, you underexposed or overexposed your picture and it fixes it, but it's, it's a computer doing it and it's not the best way to do it. Um, curves is a really, really, really useful tool. So I always like, like put double click to add or remove a control point. I always put a control point in the middle there so that I can, in the middle here, in the middle here. And that's so that I can like down here are the highlights. So if I wanted to, I could make those highlights even brighter, but it's not going to affect much of my middle or hot or shadows. Right. And so then I can take my middle here and I can bring it down a little bit. And I can take my shadows and even bring them over a little bit. So this is highlights, this is middle, this is shadows, right? You can also then start to mess around with the colors in the same way. Like I can, do things to this to make the blues kind of pop out or to make the reds kind of pop out. So curves is fun because you can choose points at which it's going to um, control the color. Um, one last one is levels. And levels is also another one kind of like curves where you get to choose what's being affected, the shadows, the midtones, or the highlights. And you can do that same thing with the reds. So like this red should be actually all the way over here. That looks way better. <laughs> um, as I said, I just thought that this, oh, this is the yellows are, the greens are totally blown out. So I do a lot with this as well. So that's all the tools underneath adjustment.